Today I'm going to show you how I do my garden cleanup in the spring. So here's a hosta. The leaves are all laying on the ground and the old flower stems are still vertical in the garden. I like to get rid of all of the vertical things coming out of the plants because as the new leaves grow these are going to be in the way and the new leaves aren't going to develop properly so we need to get rid of these. My favorite tool for that is this. It's a hedge trimmer. It works very fast for spring cleanup. Let me show you how I do this. I cut the tips off all the stems and then I go down and do another row. And another row. And one final one. I try to cut the stems so that they're all about six to eight inches long. If I get lazy, they get a little longer. If I have a lot of extra time, they're a little shorter. Now everything's laying on the ground, and that's where I leave it. Nature's going to come along here and compost that for me. In no time at all, the new hosta leaves will have grown up and covered this, so you won't even see it. There's no point in raking all this up, taking it to a compost pile, composting it, turning it, bringing a ball back next year. Nature's going to do that for me right here. Now you might wonder, what is the best time to do this? And I like to do it as early as possible, as soon as the snow's gone. So I'm out here about the middle of March. It's still quite cool. It's only about one degree centigrade today, just above zero. Tonight it'll get down to about minus seven, so everything's still frozen. The ground's still frozen, so I can walk on it without compressing it and without damaging any plants. So it's really good to do this early on. If you wait another few weeks when it's warmer, then as you walk around, you're going to compress soil, and that's not good for plant roots. So this plant's done. It took all of five seconds. This here is one of my favorite shade garden plants. It's called the stinking hellebore. Hellebore phytitis. You can see that most of the leaves are still quite green. They're going a little brown in spots, but most of them are pretty good. But what this plant does is it makes flower buds in the fall and if we have a tough winter these flower buds get rotten and won't open properly and that's what happened this year you can see the flower heads are all brown so i'm going to cut those off and i'm going to use some hand pruners for that And I'm trying to cut back to a point where I still have a good firm stem. Some of the tips are a little squishy. There's one more back here. That's last year's stem. That one's no good anymore. And that's it. Now all the rotten parts are cut off. I'll leave the rest of the leaves because they're, they're still green and they don't look too bad. Now you notice I've just thrown all that in the garden. That's pretty much where I'll leave it. It'll rot and compost pretty quickly. Now sometimes the stems are pulled out of the ground very easily and then I use a different technique and I can do that with these selectrums. I just pull them off, break them up and drop everything in the garden. 